Guys, we are on board the brand new Norwegian Prima and we are in a balcony room. Yes. And we want to give you a room tour of this balcony state room. So stay tuned. Let's get into a room tour. Balcony room 11342. Oh, well, hello. Come on in. Guys, we are on the Norwegian Prima and we are here in a lovely balcony room. So as soon as you walk in, be careful how you open the doors because it will slam right into these hangers that are directly right here. That's just what happened to me. Usually it, the door opens the opposite way where it opens on this side mm -hmm. and there's either some, some cruise lines have the little thing, the stamp thing that it keeps it open, the magnet, or you just hold it open to this door. Most cruise lines, they clobber you with the door. Yeah. It, Most cruise lines, it doesn't stay open. But any home we're in the room and as soon as we walk in they have a nice storage closet mm -hmm. okay but this is an open one so you can hang your jackets there's an extra pillow here for you it's a shelving you can put your purses whatever you want to put up and down here right. so as, no door in that one but this one does have a door on this wardrobe there is a door okay two sliding doors and a floor to ceiling mirror okay mm -hmm. not ceiling but it's a pretty tall mirror okay and so when you open up the door you guys will see that there's several hangers here and i'm sure if you need more hangers if you're doing a very long sale and you can ask your steward for more hangers so if you're coming with your gowns darling okay or if you're a tall man that has very long pants or whatever it is okay and you're probably saying well there's not enough space for my gowns you can take this level of the shelf lift it up turn this thingy keep it closed well, look at you figuring stuff out I know how to do things, okay? I showed it to you five minutes ago. No, you didn't. Continue I, I figured video. that out. Okay, and you can hang your gowns, okay? <laughs> and then they also have at the bottom the basket, so you can throw your shoes. Shoe basket. Whatever you want to okay. put at the bottom um, of oh, your closet. We got closet, a lot of shoes, okay? so we might we see if they got a little more. All right. So, more shoe baskets. Perfect. More shoe baskets more space to hang it doesn't go off to the other closet okay okay so you can separate if you're coming with a friend or whatever you can separate your stuff and you guys will have plenty of space and obviously there's a safe as well in the closet so if you want to put any of your personal belongings that you want to keep locked away you can put it there at the safe all right so also when you enter the rest enter the balcony cabin you will see that the, there's a door here what is the door to the bathroom Essential. so guys i've already came in but i want to show you this bathroom is pretty large for it's a huge. standard uh balcony room this is a large bathroom come on in Rich. it's come actually in. for a not a suite but a regular balcony oh we can we can I'm, both stand in there. i'm actually in here and i like close the door guys that's it's how, right. Look at this. This is not a suite size. This is not a suite. This is just a standard balcony room. And the fact that this bathroom is this big, we both can stand in here. Amazing. That says a lot. A lot of other cruise lines, you cannot have two people like comfortably standing in the room. I mean, in the bathroom. No, it's a struggle. With, and I could appreciate this very large sink. The sink is nice and long. I like the counter space. There's three shelving um, options here with the um, two shelves at the bottom. And also, if you must need, you can put some stuff at the bottom underneath the sink if you need. Oh, they left you the space, yeah. Right, they left okay. you the space there. I typically don't really see that on cruise lines either. So that is also very nice. Two towel bars. Shows to shower, shows and to shower. Just some abstract art. And another thing that I really like about this bathroom, they don't give you just a bar soap where it gets all icky and nasty throughout your sailing and your steward and it melts away. And, and it melts away. There's an actual soap dispenser where you can actually wash your hands. Oh my gosh, cruise lines. Why is this so hard for all of you to get this? Get with the times, guys. All right, so in the shower, it is get in. my type of shower. I like these types of shower with a nice big shower head. It doesn't have the ray head, okay? Like some other cruise line that we won't mention. But this one has a nice big <laughs> shower head, <laughs> yes. And then you have enough space to actually wash your body. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Wash your body. Oh, one more time. Cash money records taking over for the 9-9 and the 2000. 
to this side? Get, I can wash my body. Okay? So wash your body. You can actually stretch and wash your body. You can get all up in there mm -hmm. in the shower. That's my plan. Okay? So we, can, we really appreciate the size of the shower. They have body wash. And it is conditioning shampoo and body wash, darling. Okay? Then you have uh, two racks in here to put your washcloths, soap, whatever you want. Your body washes, your shaving cream, whatever you need in the shower. All right, so now we are out of the shower. And there's also two door hooks right here. And also, speaking of door hooks, there's even more hooks here. You want to hang up your purses, all that jazz, you can do that right here. Okay, guys, we have changed models, so it is my turn to continue the room tour. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> we've got um, some standard programs here, right? We've got a fridge, small, the standard size cruise ship fridges. What's they got that? some box water. Uh, How it's much not is free. it? Um, the, the, the tag fell off, so I almost got bamboozled into buying it. Um, $5.50. 5 50 for the box water. Plus 20% gratuity. So, mm. that's how much it is for the box water. Um, over here, you've got your phone, your napkin, you've got your, uh, oh, well, that's not for you. Two plugs here. Moving on by the mirror, we've got a plug, a USB-C, and um, a USB and the international. Beautiful mirror. Somewhere there should be a switch to turn so the light on. I'm about on. to say, is this a lighted mirror um, or no? They've not made that, the e wait. Okay, okay, that's, the, that's where it should be. Really cool, little things, maybe corny to you, a remote holder area. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason for your remote to be lost. New to me. We've got some wine glasses, some standard stuff here so you can order your room service on demand. Um, whatever you need to, you just scan and your menu's gonna pull up there. All right, so we've got a very unique ottoman. It's like a. Um, What's the purpose of this handle? Uh, one and two and three and four and get them set up. You pick it up. It's a. It's for squatting. Okay. Well, it's, you get your exercise on. It's board. actually very light. It, <laughs> you, you will not get buff from squatting. This. Okay. So, um, I guess it's just cool to have a handle. You know, little swanky thing. Cool. Now, under here, there's the um, blow dryer. Now, the blow dryer has a, a holder here. It doesn't just, you know, some cruise lines, it kind of like sits in the drawer of the hotel, yeah. the standard hotel look. Pretty cool. A holster. Mm -hmm. So, that's nice. So, we've got a couch here. Very nice. Two seater couch. Yeah, standard, pretty good. On this side of the bed, right guys, we've got the lamp. Nice one, right? Sturdy. Um, nightstand table. You've got USB and a USB-C here. So I like that there's a lot of USB-C incorporation here because a lot of devices now require that to charge. Mm -hmm. Everything is not USB anymore. And um, there is a plug, not over here, right? So we've got that one. You see the artwork. It is very nice, modern looking. Um, the bed looks great. We have not laid in it yet, so we can't tell you how that is. If you watch all our vlogs, we will eventually tell you if we slept really good or not on there. Not that I sleep with these accent pillows, but I like that they offer, the, you know, the accent pillows really make the decor on the bed look very nice and elegant. It does. It, it does. really adds to the room, and I love that they it matches the painting in the back. So this just so happens to be ours. Some random girl with a butterfly smacked on her face. She so, can't see because she's got she a butterfly. She has the butterfly effect. Oh. oh. So on this side <laughs> of the bed, USB, USB-C, same lamp. There's no plug on this side of the bed. So just know if you require the plug, it'll be on that side, right? We've got a light here. That's for the balcony. So TV is a pretty good size for this room. Um, I have no complaints about this size TV. That's pretty good. This is a connecting um, balcony room, so you can book both and connect with your family there, friends, whoever you need to connect to. And then, last but not least, this cabin, and we normally try to pick these rooms. We were lucky enough that they picked it for us, where the cabin is at the beginning of the bump, and that usually leads to a, a little bit of a bigger um, balcony. So check out this balcony. First impressions come through, come through. So the first thing I notice when I walk out here is that the furniture is not your standard hard 
lawn chairs, right? right. These are actually really nice. They have a nice a cushion, nice cushion on it. It sits well. It 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 does recline also. FYI. It does. Yes, it does yeah. recline. Check this out. It would recline more if you moved up. It sure would, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> I don't want to have a hard time gist. getting up. Yes. You guys get the gist. So we've got that and a table. Um, like I was pointing out, guys, this room is on the bump. So you see how this comes, but then it's curved out here because these rooms stick out more. You've got the balconies from these, and then you've got this little extra square footage over here. So we got yeah. lucky. Yeah, we did. For us to not, yeah. we didn't select this room. We would have picked for this, us. though. If we, when we book balconies, we tried to book these rooms because you get a little, you get a few extra feet on your balcony for free, right. included. 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 Keep, included. Keep, keep, keep that word in so, mind. All right, guys. So drop in the comments below. What do you guys think of the Norwegian Prima Balcony Cabin Tour? Do you like it? Is it something that you would book? Let us know. And if you did not know, we are travel agents. And that's basically why we're here on this sailing, because we are travel agents. And if you need us to book you on the next Norwegian cruise, please email us at a rich and jazzy family at gmail.com to get a price quote or two you already know what you want hit me up even better yeah. <laughs> exactly all right what are your so what are your impressions on my this impressions on this room i think it's i think it's a nice spacious room for two people yeah um it's very clean i like the the carpet mm -hmm. I mean, we didn't talk about that much in the video but i like the it's colors nice. of the carpet yeah. i like the color scheme um, the color scheme, I like grays though. That gray and the blues, the grays it's and super blues. clean. Yeah. yeah, I like the color scheme. I think it's very nice. I think it's spacious. I like the size of the TV. There's nothing at this point that I, I have a complaint say, about. Give me one negative. I don't have one negative, to be honest with you. I can't think of anything negative to say. You gotta think so of something. So what do you have if, gotta, if you had to think of something. If I have to think of something, I like when the doors do have a magnet so you can stick it I was and leave it open. I was gonna say that. And the reason is I normally travel with my kids. So we have a five and a six year old. We've been traveling with them since they were eight months old. So as a parent, we know what it's like to have to get through a door that doesn't really hold itself up. Yeah. So I get that, but I also understand the fire hazard perspective also. So I, 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 I see both sides. Um, one thing that I would complain about is this ottoman. I, I'm not, you don't like it? I don't like it at all. <laughs> I like something with a back. Um, oh, a chair. With an a actual back. chair with a back. If you guys don't want to do a chair with a back, I also like how on. Um, Carnival Cruise Line on the newer ships, the Ottoman has a tray table that if you want to bring it to the bed space. and you want it, yeah. right, it's a good use of space. So if you want to do room service and not mm -hmm. mess up your bed, you can eat on the tray in your room. I do like that. Now I'll tell you why that's important too. You have to think that nowadays, more than ever, um, post pandemic, that there's so many people that work from home. So people are booking cruise ships and they're, make, they're getting the best Wi-Fi package and they're working from not just home, but they're working from cruise ships. Yeah. And if you're gonna be working on a cruise ship, you do want a comfortable chair yeah. to, to have some lumbar support there, right? So um, that's the reason that that's a negative. It's a lumbar support for me. What is your favorite part, but I'm gonna go first because you might wanna say the same thing. Okay. I'm gonna go first. Go, go for it. Oh, I thought you were going to try to cut me off. So, <laughs> and I thought you, go I thought you were going to try to jump in front No, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go you ahead. You want to go, right? No, no, I... Okay, all right. I think the best part of this whole room is that bathroom. It's huge. Yeah. The bathroom is so big. This yeah. may be... I'm trying to think. Is this the biggest bathroom I've had on a balcony room? No. The biggest bathroom we've ever had in a balcony room was Virgin Voyage XLC Terrace. But they don't have a bathroom door, so. Yeah, they don't have a bathroom door, but. It's still a nice room, it's yeah. It still is a big bathroom. But for this, this is a big bathroom. Yeah, this, this is, is a, a really big, big bathroom. bathroom. For an enclosed bathroom like that, that yeah. is a big bathroom for a standard, ba um, standard balcony, a standard cabin. I yeah. wonder if in the interior rooms um, are the bathrooms that size as well. This ship was built to have more room in the bathroom. Yes. They did a um, they did want to accommodate to people. So yeah. if you are one of my cruises that require a little bit more space, then I will tell you that this, without you having to get a suite for the space, this is pretty big for a balcony room, not mm -hmm. being a suite. I, I will give them the credit. It's it's still not suite status, but it's, it's, it's roomy. All right, guys, so that's pretty much it for our tour of the balcony cabin on the Norwegian Prima. Guys, if you like this, please don't forget to share this with who? 
your friends and family. Don't forget to give it, drop us a comment. Please don't forget to give us a huge thumbs up. It's a thumbs up button right underneath the screen. It's very important that you sign in and press that thumbs up button. It's essential, guys. It's very essential. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. And until the next vlog, guys, which will be on the Norwegian Prima. Oh, the vocals, the vocals is hitting on this Prima. Okay. Oh, you know, you know, I, I did what I can do. I know each ship gets their own. Oh, yeah, Go ahead. Still all thing. So the next Norwegian cruise is going to be? Norwegian Prima. So we are going to be along the Norwegian Prima for four whole days. So stay tuned for those vlogs, guys. But until then, continue to live a rich and jazzy Bye. life. Bye. Bye, guys.